Good morning, Squelch Squad. It's a nice early morning. We're about to head out on an epic, muddy treasure hunting adventure. This video is gonna be a little bit different, highly requested video. We're gonna be taking you through everything we do behind the scenes to making one of our mudlarking videos. Everything from the gear we use and wear, right through to how we clean the treasures we find, how we upcycle some of the broken finds, and everything in between, how we wash ourselves down. Gonna be a good one, hope you enjoy it. Remember to smash that like button and subscribe if you're new around here. All right, let's kick things off then with the most important part of the morning, coffee. Gearing up, ready to go. Are you excited? Yes, new gloves. New gloves. Is the lucky trowel in? Uh. <laughs> no, oh my where goodness. is it? Oh my goodness. There it is. Yes! Alright, lucky trowel has to come because it did so well for us last time. Woo! Let's get the show on the road. Right, squad, we have made it on location. We're about to start our juicy adventure. Very excited, we're at one of our favorite creeks. Hopefully get some exquisite finds. But that is next week's video, so get hyped for that. Here's some sneak peeks. Dad, what's just happened? We might have found something exquisite. Can you just see the outline of it there? Cod it! Mm. Now the question is, is this cod gonna be whole? If it's not, still a lovely find, but if it is whole, then that's a seriously dream find. Are we ready? Oh, yes! <laughs> no way! <laughs> oh, I'm nice so one. stoked. That's lovely so Lovely sauce sick. and a card already. Yay! Yay! This video is all about behind the scenes of our mudlarking. So, we'll see you back at the car when we spray ourselves off. Probably gonna be very muddy. <laughs> Whew! Mudlark complete. Jeez! You guys are in for a treat next week. <laughs> Absolutely in for a treat. We've had some total belt lords. Let's go get sprayed off. Okay, safely back at the car. Nice and muddy. Now we get so many questions asking, how on earth do you drive home after your muddy adventure? And well, here's how. May I present to you? <coughs> hey, 
the portable pressure washer boy. This genius piece of equipment has saved us, hasn't it, Dad? Yes, a glorious present from my dear brother. Yes, it is a car <laughs> saver, house saver, washing machine saver. All in all, it's a good friend. It is a definite friend and it's going to clean us up nicely. Yes, who's first? Me. Okay. Squad, we are back at home after that juicy, muddy adventure. We're going to show you the most requested part of this video, which is how we clean the bottles. Dad is in his uh... bottle cleaning outfit. <laughs> bottle cleaning outfit. We've got the seagull uh, joining us today, so sorry about that noise. We should say, first of all, Josie, that we are by no means bottle cleaning experts, <laughs> but we can show you how we clean them. And Absolutely. I really need to emphasize that this is a team effort uh, from getting rid of the mud out here to handing them over to Josie and Mama Mud Pie, who spend many hours doing this awful bit of uh, mud locking, the cleaning bit. <laughs> so, Absolutely. Um, we're going to take one of the bottles that we found and we're just going to clean it in the way that we clean it, like I said. Absolutely. There's lots of different ways of doing this, and I'm sure everyone's screaming at the screen now. They have their own particular way but we'll do our way. First of all, <laughs> look at this arrangement. A plethora of brushes. Nice shoes, Dad. Well, thank you. <laughs> Guess my favorite color. <laughs> hmm, I wonder. Yes. The first stage, Dad, is a bit horrible, isn't it? So we've got, we've got the beauties that we immediately take out the bags and they soak in these horrible mud-filled buckets. And the first bit's pretty brutal, isn't it? You just got to get all the, yeah, all the horrible stuff out, really. Yep. So we're going to use uh, this is our our specimen here. This lovely Edward Mannering London sheer top bottle. In its current state, it looks putrid. I have to say. We're going to try and save the cork. So that's quite cool. And I'm going to get rid of all the mud. <laughs> Step one: release mud. Yeah. <laughs> God. Mud released. You've been quite lucky with that one though, because because the cork's in, it means that there will have been less of the, you know. The disgustingness. The disgustingness. <laughs> Still looks pretty bad though, doesn't it? It does. And it's such a beautiful bottle as well, this one. It's gonna be. It... We need to transform it. Yes, just you wait. Look, there's the before, the after is gonna be insane. <laughs> Are you choosing from your... Yes, my, my, my selection. <laughs> from the armoury. Yeah. <laughs> armoury is a good way to describe them all, Josie, yeah. Absolutely. I think the important thing to say, really, is that there are no top secrets. No, It is really just aren't. a lot of scrubbing. Hours of scrubbing. And a lot of time. We do have, a, you know, a few things up our sleeve, but for the most part, it is just hours of this. Dad will take you through the little secret uh, tips. <laughs> secret, not so secret tips, but for the most part, it is just elbow grease. Yes. We do sometimes use this stuff, the pink stuff, which is uh, just a very mild kind of uh, cleaning paste, a little bit abrasive, but not enough that it would do any harm to the bottles or goods. Mm. It's quite legendary, this stuff, actually. I mean, it does work. And it's pink, which is quite cool, really. Okay. <laughs> Big contrast to the mud. Yeah. Brillo pads as well. Uh, but only the fine ones. Yeah. You don't want to scratch the bottles. So they're just like really fine wire wool, essentially. Yeah, fine wire wool is okay, but anything, a coarse wire wool would scratch. You don't want to ruin your juicy bottle. No way. No way, Jose. Oh. Hello there. So, I've added a little bit of very fine grit into the base of this bottle. 
I might not do this on my most precious of bottles, but uh, this is pretty good at getting rid of some of those difficult to reach bits. So you add a bit of grit, a bit of water, and just gently shake it around. And yeah, it kind of breaks up and the... Yeah, it gets into the nooks and crannies. <laughs> the old nooks and crannies. Reaches the parts that others can't reach. Exactly. Okay. So that's one of our little top tips is using a little bit of fine grit yeah. and giving it a good old shake. Yeah. You can add one of those denture cleaning tablets to it. Try that. Leave that for a couple of days. Yeah, we've used the denture tablets before. Mm -hmm. They're quite good, but you do have to leave it to soak for quite some time. Mama Mud Pie's top tip uh, is add a little bit of bleach and leave it for a couple of days. That gets rid of the very green stains that can be quite tricky to get out. Ooh. Not bad, is it? That's a big old difference there. Yeah. Just needs a rinse and I think we're there, aren't we? Yeah. You've done a number on that bad boy. Yes, yeah, a nice bottle actually. Lovely, lovely colour. But that is how we clean the horrible muddy bots. <laughs>
we found with the pouches on the sides. I actually fell over mm. and smashed a nice clay pipe with that. But you did. this is less likely to happen when you've got it up here, you know? So yeah, that's top bit of equipment. Yeah, that, good, a good one. Great for all the little finds. Yeah. And then, hmm, still a work in progress, yeah. gloves. Yeah, we never gloves. used to wear gloves for a long time, did no, we? No, I know, I don't know what was wrong with us. Yeah, and then <laughs> um, we saw the light. Yes, we and did. We've tried different pairs of gloves. We've tried the seal skin gloves uh, that are quite expensive, very waterproof, very grippy, mm. um, but get destroyed with barnacles and sharp things. Yes, dads have torn. So we've tried out these new work gloves, which are nice, they're warm, they're waterproof. Only downfall is that they've got quite a short bit on the wrist, so your hands are prone to getting wet if yeah. you're dipping in and out of creeks and things but otherwise they've been pretty, yeah. pretty good pretty good yeah pretty decent and here we have the emergency bag the mystery bag <laughs> now emergency bag it's just got some spare string in it uh, a reflective blanket and uh, a knife to cut the mud patterns should you get so completely stuck that you have to <laughs> cut them off and swim out not that we really want to be doing that. We but, do not want to be doing uh, that. Also, or if the string broke because you'd stepped on something that was super sharp, like an oyster mm. or uh, a bottle. So mm. we've always got string to repair them. But uh, the final item, Jessie, is Mark the- Mark boots. Mark boots or rally oh. boots. Yeah. Oh yeah. They're legendary. They're absolutely legendary. They're warm, they're comfortable. The sole, it's like the squish of a trainer. Yeah. But the- durability of a big old boot. I love I love my muck boots. Probably the most expensive lovely. item actually on the table by a long yeah. way. They are good, but they are pricey. Mm, yeah, so if you're looking for wellies, <laughs> yeah. you're looking for a recommendation. I mean, they are pricey like dad says, but muck boots, fire, absolutely fire. If you're gonna do a lot of walking, they're good. They're good. Otherwise, yeah. you maybe don't need them. You just get a standard pair of welly boots, which we have used on many occasions. We have indeed. And we've also lost many wally boots in the mud. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I don't try not to think about that though. <laughs> okay, so there we are. A quick gear discussion. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, we didn't put too many of you to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> um, we're back out in the mud, don't worry, next weekend. Uh, lots of stunning finds to share with you. Maybe if you've got some ideas on gear or other gear related questions, stick them in the comments and we can have a good old natter about what works and what doesn't work. Mm, yes, please, I love that. Yeah. Love so that. all comments about how to clean bottles. We could all learn as a community how to clean bottles better. If someone's got some amazing tips, I'd love to hear them. Oh, um, absolutely. Yeah. Cool, guys. Really do hope you enjoyed that video. Something a little bit different. If you did, please do press the like button and once again, subscribe. It's completely free. Just got to press two buttons and it really helps the channel out. We do also have an Etsy store where we list some finds, upcycled items, some merch. So check that out if you want to support us further. And thank you everyone so much for watching. That's it. Thank you. <laughs> See you next week, hopefully. <laughs> All right, so it's time to say goodbye for now from the Mud Pies. Bye! Bye. Bye.